turn this up, I'm about to teach y'all some little lessons. I'm about to teach y'all niggas some if y'all had any questions. If you ain't got no money, trust me, bro, you can't be stressing. I'm about to teach you how to... What up, everybody? For CM Culture, it's Watonio. Now, Scan Rap has taken off crazy thanks to artist TJX6. He's managed to blow up big off the unusual style of music. But TJX seems to not realize the potential danger he could be putting himself in with these records. Now, of course, music can be fictitious, just a story, but in this record, Swipe Lesson, there might be a bit of a gray area. Now, on one hand, a song could be viewed as very, very incriminating, while on the other, it could just be a song strictly for entertainment. But when a title of your song literally has free money methods in it, that's when it becomes a problem. Now, Scam is essentially grand theft, which is a crime punishable to up to three years, which isn't that long of a time. But any time is a long time when you spend in prison. On top of that, he's not even really rapping in the song. He's basically just talking you through a scam method. In the hundred mode, go on to your site and it's gonna tell you which address to load. Then you type that same address on a Bitcoin machine. If you put the right address, it should pop up green. Then from there, you done with that Bitcoin machine. Now, of course, there are other various artists who rap about scamming, as we covered in a previous video. But with TJX, it's kind of became his theme. His gimmick as an artist is that he's a scammer. Now, I have no problem with TJX. I think he's a pretty decent artist. He's not the best. He's okay. He has that offbeat flow similar to Blueface. And he's generally doing better than a lot of new up-and-coming artists coming out of Detroit. He's appeared on Genius, No Jumper. So he's established a good buzz for himself. But with songs like Swipe Story and Swipe Lesson, he's kind of treading on thin ice. And the sense that police are now starting to use artists' lyrics against them in court, which is also something we covered before. So me personally, I think he should put just a little bit of a filter on what he says in his music because you can get in trouble just off the strength of your lyrics now. But that'll pretty much wrap up this video. Let me know what y'all think about TJX. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow us on our Instagram at CM Culture. Check us out on our website at cmculture.com. Stay the day with new posts and videos every day. Soon as it pop, get that phone and go throw it away. Now you can thank me.